All right, so I was doing research on a long distance family member or really an ancestor. And apparently the connections I have to Solomon Perti. Now, for those that don't know, he was one of the first free black slaves. If He was the first free black man, free black slave, even though he was mixed. You feel me? He was half black, half white. And the story goes that his mother was a slave, Ruth Washburn, and she was owned by Robert Pertit. And Robert Pertit was a white man, a slave owner. And I don't know if she was conceived through rape or whatever, but he, they tried to, you know what I'm saying, they changed the story later on to something else, but it traces back to her, Ruth Washburn was a slave, because she's not of the Pertit family. So, and... You know, they produced Solomon Pertit. And he was raised up to be, from 11 years old, a bricklayer. And he became an entrepreneur, really like real estate agent, you know what I'm saying? Owning multiple properties and really loaning people, um, loaning white people money in Alabama. One of the first free persons of color. That's a fact. And he owned multiple slaves. See, what y'all don't realize is that. Back in those days, being black and owning slaves, it was a business, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you had the funds to do that, because like I told y'all, I'm finna t I'm finna talk about this later on too, because a lot of people have it misconstrued about the past of those days. They don't really understand. White and black don't understand because both don't do research in actuality. So he was a free free person of color, and he was one of the first free persons of color in Alabama, if not the first, and he owned black slaves. Now, the petite last name, I've done my research. There are no slave owners in Alabama with the last name Petit. So, he's the only person in, um, what is it, Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the county. And my family was from Livingston, which is Sumter County, Alabama. And in Sumter County, believe it or not, Look, bro, <laughs> Chocolatoa, Chocolatoa Indians, that was their land, that was their land, and even if you were to go back to Georgia, that's, they were, they were still there, you feel me, what, the Shawnee Indians and all of those extinct tribes of black people, in actuality, they were all there, so, with that being said, he owned multiple slaves who they don't give the names to. He owned six slaves and all. And he freed slaves as well. Like he didn't own slaves in the in the you know the way you think he does, like beat them and all of that. You know what I'm saying? He owned them to give them freedom. He bought family members or you know what I'm saying, just people. You feel me? And he bought his wife too, Lucinda. Lucinda Pertit and her son. You know what I'm saying? He was a wealthy man. He bought a woman, a black woman, and her son. You feel me? And that became his wife. She became free because of that. And you know what I'm saying? And he owned six other slaves who, in my opinion, might have been my ancestors just because of how I trace it. You know what I'm saying? They don't give the names of them, but if you're a slave and, you know what I'm saying, if you, you take on your, your slave master's last name. So, and if, if he had children was Lucinda as well. I found their names, but can't find their children so if it leads up to the party and it's around the same time that my great 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 grandfather was born you know what i'm saying that he owned these slaves right before the civil war of 18 what 63 62 around that time so with all that being said bro the chocotwa indians and the, that land being theirs before the french got there it all makes sense you know what i'm saying if they weren't slaves, then they were Indians. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's documented in my family. We have Indian. Not Why do I keep saying Indians, bro? Damn. Native Americans, bro. Indians is what Christopher Columbus called them when he first got to this, you know, continent. You know what I'm saying? He just called them Indians because that's what they looked like to him. Even though they weren't Indian. They were Native Americans. High IQ, right? Yeah, okay. But, so overall, and this is another thing I wanted to touch on, bro. <laughs> White slaves, man. 
Irish, Scottish, poor Englishmen. Facts. Y'all don't even know y'all own history. You know what I'm saying? White slaves all throughout American history. White people owning them, black people owning them. Because what y'all fail to realize is that. Remember when they talk about George Washington chopping down the cherry tree? Well, it's not a real literal cherry tree. That's what school books and the whole indoctrination of the education system teaches you. That it's a, that it's a literal cherry tree. No. The cherry tree is the Moroccan flag. The old Moroccan flag. For the Moors. Because they set sail with the Moors. The Spanish did. You know what I'm saying? And that's documented. You see the phases all throughout early American history. You see the phases. Which are those Islamic hats. So, black people were up. And I got documented proof of that. You know what I'm saying? I can read it for fact for fact checking. Look, let's check it out. Now, this is from a book labeled in, in, ah, goddamn, Encyclopedia of Free Blacks and People of Color in the Americas. Now, this is page three. This is page three where he talks about they were organized in multi-town chiefdoms when the first European and African tra travelers appeared in the region in the early 16th century. The first people of African ancestry to enter the territory that is now Alabama were the companions of Hernando de Soto, de Soto 1496 to 1542. Now that's the 1500s, the 16th century, yeah, that's right. So, who crossed the state in 1541 to 1542. De Soto took several dozen blacks from Cuba, some of whom were free. None of those in conquistadors remained in the area, though. See, so, what y'all don't realize is that the black people that were, were with him were Moors. Now, that's a fact. I'm, I'm showing pictures of this right now. They drew paintings of this way back then, that event. And it clearly says more. You know what I'm saying? They're telling him where to go because what y'all don't realize is that after the Spanish, after the Moors were done ruling Europe because they had a fascination with blonde-haired, blue-eyed women. You know what I'm saying? It reminds me of Martin Luther King and his, you know what I'm saying, hooker fascination with white women. You feel me? That's what this whole I Had a Dream shit was about. Him wanting white women. You feel me? Black men have a real fascination or... You know what I'm saying? They they have history of a fascination with pale women with blue blonde hair and blue eyes. Not to say nothing against y'all, not try to bash y'all, but that's just them, you feel me? That's just a fact of just black history. So the Moors, they loved, you know what I'm saying, trade in white women and just blonde hair, blue eyes. They had a real fascination for that. And they bought tons of white slaves during that time of which they ruled Europe to the point where even during the 15, 16, 1700s, when they were still had, you know what I'm saying, some sort of control, like in Arabia and places like that, where the Americans had to outlaw, you know what I'm saying, selling white slaves because they were buying too many. You know what I'm saying? So, and that comes with the early 1800s with them buying, you know what I'm saying, white slaves. They had to outlaw that as well in America. You know what I'm saying? These white slaves in New Orleans, that's a fact feel me so all of that comes down to the moors running europe i'll show pictures of that them running everything around there not for 13 not the 13 not 12 no they've been they always ran europe bro always up until like what 1492 when they got kicked out of yeah spain i think that was 10 years earlier when they got kicked out of spain and they had to do things, you feel me? They had to work. They're like, oh, okay, y'all kicked us out. The white man finally ruling. I'm going to give y'all a map to America. Not That's not what they called it, but they gave the Spanish a map to America, Christopher Columbus. And he set sail with the Moors to come to America to sell out and enslave his own people. And there were Moors already here of certain Indian tribes. Not, I keep saying Indian, Native American tribes, you feel me? And that's why it was so easy for them to do this. You feel me? Or just, that's why it was so many wars. When they tell you the Seminoles and the blacks were, you know what I'm saying, rebelling against slavery. And, bro, do y'all know what was really going on? 
Really, really? Y'all don't. American history don't tell y'all that. I mean, the education system at school won't. But I'm here to tell y'all this. All throughout history, you see, you know what I'm saying, the Moors selling out black people. All throughout it, bro. Whenever you see that fez, I can't fuck with it, bro. I can't. And what y'all don't realize about Moors history is there's, there's accounts of Moors having white people as slaves and or just having, using human skin as like some type of cloth or like a coat. They had whole books made out of white human skin. You feel me? So they were skinning them. So the white people know this, bro. I want y'all to know that. The white people know all of this. And that's why they acted the way they did throughout the centuries in America. You feel me? The, the hate for blacks came from the Moors. Now, if you can give me a time before then of whites doing that, slavery started from the Moors, bro. That's a fact. And I, I, I really can say other African cultures didn't indulge in that. When you think of, like, that's why people put that on Islam of that slavery thing, you feel me? Because of the Moors. And really when you see certain Arabian countries with these oil-rich people, these are the same people that, they were Jews or the fake Jews, you feel me? That ran away and changed their identities. The pale, the pale Arabs are Jews, you know what I'm saying? Like the Khazari and Zionist Jews, they're family. They have bloodlines alike. Why do you think all of this devastation goes on in places like Libya and these other, you know what I'm saying, Muslim countries in Saudi Arabia just sit there and watches and does nothing? Even though they might be sunny, sunny Muslim, it still doesn't matter because they're not of the bloodline. What y'all don't realize is that all throughout history, bloodlines matter. You know what I'm saying? Um, nationality and history or just, you know what I'm saying, your family. That's what matters. When you see these Nigerian kings and princes in Nigeria or just all throughout Africa, where it's third world situations all throughout their country, why don't you, this is what I always thought when I was younger, like just a, a naive little kid to the world thinking in my head at like seven, eight, nine years old, why do we have Africans that are oil rich and diamond rich, you know what I'm saying, just worth millions and millions of dollars? Why don't they give money to us blacks down here? Or, better yet, growing up, getting older, then I think about it. Why don't they give money to the people in their fucking country? They got kids starving in their country, dying from malaria or, you know what I'm saying, all of these diseases. Because those are the descendants of the Moors. Or those are the Moors. They keep their money all within their family. Within their family, there's really... There's like literally people in Africa with a hundred wives at 92 years old or older than that, you feel me, has nearly a hundred wives and yet still the people in this country are dying poor. Think about that, bro. And these are people that supposedly believe in the Quran or the Bible. They read these things and they make salats, you know what I'm saying? These are all people that believe that. But yet their people are still starving. It's fucked up, man. All throughout history you got this. Christ, what, the Christian Crusades and all of those atrocities. You know what I'm saying? Knights Templar, the Ku Klux Klan. I told y'all, you know, those are Masonic, Masonic orders. But at the same time, it all comes down to really just this, this groupthink mentality. If we can't be free thinkers in society, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these people love taking advantage of things. People want total control. And look at the treaty between America and Morocco. It's fucking 1700s, you feel me? I'm not lying about this, bro. These Moors made a peace treaty with the Americans or just the whites, you know what I'm saying? So they live in comfortably. Now that makes sense to me that just like with Solomon Petit, he walked around the county. He used to, you know what I'm saying, get blacks. Like, he used to um, get together and put whites on his truck and take them to court and win most of his cases of them not paying him his money. 
and this is a black man or a mixed black man you feel me so just think about those times when you see these movies of just blacks being walked around and snatched up with these fishnets over them and taken from their country didn't happen like by white men didn't happen like that bro it was black men doing this shit that's facts and it wasn't in Africa you know what I'm saying wasn't in Africa and, oh and I also forgot to mention that if you look up this is just from a national archive now this is from the free people of color a magazine of which they detail all of the free people of color and it tells you this is the population schedules of the fifth census of the United States in 1830 Alabama and this is from Tuscaloosa County so it, it says free white persons including head of families so they have to make it known that these are free white persons and then on the next page it tells you that it's slaves and you know what I'm saying they have to make a difference between the slaves and free color people you know what I'm saying so just remember it's a difference <laughs> it's a real difference bro so yeah they all of that stuff y'all be hearing about these people on here you know what I'm saying it's lies bro white people were slaves too yes they were but they weren't treated worse stop believing that shit bro black people were castrated you know what I'm saying all type of foul shit I'm, it's not worth talking about you know what I'm saying so but there were also black people that owned slaves and white slaves those were the moors it angered white people you know what I'm saying just like with the Jack Johnson fight white people were mad because they wanted to show their superior superiority you feel me that's where all of this IQ stuff and low IQ shit comes from from these white scientists you feel me black people don't have low IQs they just like the Moors desecrated West Africa which was civilized you know what I'm saying it was civilized to the point of it would be a modern day you know what I'm saying one of these what would you consider first world countries you know what I'm saying cities or whatever that's what it would be equivalent to if it wasn't destroyed by the sellout Moors all black people aren't cool Get, trying to get y'all to realize this even in America certain Indian tribes still don't get along today a lot of the original Indian tribes even the ones in California they're gone you feel me blacks gone bro and those were probably your family members but you don't know because you haven't done any research for one they'll make a difference between you and them but yeah, you don't know that those are your ancestors. California, all throughout America, black skin, you know what I'm saying? Curly hair, coily, however they call it. <laughs> but the fact that y'all don't know this, bro, is shocking. And y'all need to wake up, man. Because y'all just not no nobody, you feel me? Y'all don't y'all are not culturalists like they tried to prove or tried to tell you you were back in these racist times you feel me you had ancestors that were sick hell yeah you had ancestors that were sick these fucking moors fucking sellouts man i don't want to hear no black people telling you that they appreciate the moors bro fuck them dudes man fuck them niggas i don't want to hear that shit nigga can't sell me on that not at all fuck that feds wearing that shit so yeah bro just with that being said man i'm going for real this time peace